Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning why it's better at the moment for you to travel to the east and to the west in Valheim. As you explore your Valheim world, you'll find all sorts of different biomes, islands, continents, rivers, lakes, oceans. It's really a fantastic, beautiful game, full of fascinating things. But at the moment, it's not done, right? So this is what the Valheim spawn world sort of looks like. Uh, all Valheim worlds follow a similar pattern, but they're all different. They're made with a seed. In this case, we're looking at one called Rito, R-I-I-T-O. And if you ever want to look at seeds, you can use this tool called Valheim Map World. That being said, Valheim isn't finished yet, right? So this biome is the deep north, and this biome is the Ashlands, and neither of these are in the game yet. And the reason this is relevant is because if you want to if you explore them, you're going to save the way they are now in their unfinished blank state to your save world. And if you explore a lot of them, that'll mean that once they actually update the world, you won't really be able to use it properly anymore because you already filled it all up with the empty biome. It won't replace what you already explored. However, if you haven't explored it yet, then when they update the biome, it'll replace everything. So that's why it's kind of important to stay away from the unfinished biomes. And all worlds have the same pattern. The deep north starts around here, and it's like the upper lid of the eye. And then down here is the Ashlands. I made this little graphic. It's very rough, you know, fine art here. <laughs> but it shows the pattern in a more easy way to see. And it looks like an eye, doesn't it? I think that's probably on purpose. It's a, probably some symbol of something. But all I know is that in the center is meadows, and sometimes some mountains, and on the edge of the center, you can find a swamp or two. And then past that is the inner ring. And this inner ring is where swamps and plains are added. So you'll find more swamps and more plains, and also some meadows, and then black forest. And then we have the outer ring, where you have mistlands and all the previous biomes except the meadows. And then you have the upper lid and the lower lid, or the north lid and the south lid. This is where the deep north is and the ashlands. So because of that, it's in your best interest to explore mostly to the east or to the west until they update the ashlands. Then you can explore as far south as you want. Now, as a little side note to you, if you're new to Valheim, the closer you are to the center of the world, the easier, the calmer, the more peaceful it is. There's mostly meadows and not that much danger. Also, starred enemies are less common. However, the further you get away from the center of the world, the more often you'll find starred enemies and you'll find the much more dangerous biomes, like the plains, the mountains, and the mistlands. I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of why it's currently better to explore east or west more often than north or south. I'm not saying you can't explore north or south, just if you're gonna make it a goal of yours to go all the way to the edge, pick the eastern edge or the western edge, and you'll have a better experience because you won't run out of content. Whereas if you go north or south, you'll get to a point where the content just ends and you're in an empty biome that just has placeholder stuff. So it's kind of cool as a novelty, but the more you explore, the more you mess up your world when that content gets updated. So always keep that in mind, right? Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you want to support my work, consider checking out my tutorial about purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server for a couple months from Zap Hosting. This is a great way for you to play Valheim because it enables you and your friends or other people who play Valheim with you to log into the world when you're doing something else. And this makes it feel a bit more like an MMO or more of an online game compared to just a regular multiplayer game, which is what it's like normally for most people. Because Valheim is such a creative game, it's so cool, and I have so much fun making these tutorials and connecting with you and trying to understand what people are going through in Valheim and how I can make things 
that enrich their experience. I don't want to make you rush through Valheim. I want to educate you so that you have even more fun with this beautiful game. And I am lucky to be able to make content about a game like Valheim. It's really awesome. Anyway, that's the end of it. Comment below if you want a tutorial about anything. I love to make new tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.